SH Figure Arts Machine Masigler. Whatever the hell that means. From Common Rider Forza. Uh, here's the box really quick. Let's get it in the light. Forza themed. Space. The Final Frontier. <clears throat> so, this is Machine Masigler. I have no idea what a Masigler is, what it means. It seems just like a silly made up name. Um, you know, I like this bike a lot. I think this is a cool design. It matches the theme of Forza with the space shuttle look and again it's got the same articulation all the other bikes have had with the um, shock spring on the back wheel, the turning of the front fork that most of them have had, well all the figure arts ones have. It's nice and detailed, unlike, um, which one did I do last? Doubled bike? Unlike hard boilder, this one is does not feel like it has any metal in it, but that's okay. It's got little. I don't know that it's light enough. It's got a little rocket thruster on the back, which is cool. It's too bad it didn't come with an effect piece. Um, you can see the controls in there. Sigler came with a couple of accessories. It came with replacement handlebars that are not soft bendy plastic. Um, it came with a hand. Well, two hands actually, but I only have one of them right here. So he can be uh, holding on to the grip and reaching out for the brakes. The Forza figures already come with really decent uh, bike holding hands, as you can see. But it's cool to have a little alternate uh, braking pose, I guess. It also came with a module, which I will show you as soon as I get this hand on. Why isn't it going on? There we go. Um, oh, it fell off. Come on, this is the guy I had posed on the bike because I only got base states recently and had already packed up the bike for it to move. Now you may notice if you watched the hard boilder review that this guy fits on his bike a lot closer to, or a lot easier than double does. At least he should, but clearly I'm having trouble doing it. There you go. <clears throat> um, okay, it also came with one of these clear wheel things. You can tuck the kickstand away, and now he's riding his bike. Um, it came with the lamp light. What did they call this one? Flash module? One of those. Flash. Let's call it flash, because it's a flashlight, right? And two of these stupid little switches. Damn these switches to hell. I hate them. Uh, the idea is nice, but the execution is just a little bit lacking. They are too darn loose, and they fall out all the time on most of my forces. <clears throat> but anyway, it comes with one where the switch is on and another one where it's off. So you can accurately have the switch in his belt and not have the module on and have it on. And just like all the other ones, which I have never reviewed... I don't even know if I've ever even used any of these modules. You just rip his arm right off. Rip his arm right off. Is this a square one or circle? See, I don't even know which module it's supposed to, which side it's supposed to go on. Let's call it left because <clears throat> this is fire state, so he wouldn't have uh, another module. See, this damn switches. And now. You know, the Sigler doesn't look like it has a headlight. That must be why they put flash with my Sigler. Now he can see to ride the bike in the dark. Um, I don't really have much to say about this. It's a cool little bike. Oh, it was cheap. It's one of the few retail releases. And it did not sell super well, so it hit really, uh, really low clearances. I think I got this on... 
hlj.com for, geez, it may have even been 1,500 yen before shipping, so 15 bucks. It was no more than $20 shipped, which is great. Um, here it is compared to Hard Boiled Her, which is a beefier, bulkier looking bike, and lots heavier because, again, it's got lots of metal made out of it, or into it. Whatever. And here is Beat Chaser, which looks like it's a tad bigger, and I don't, that could easily just be because the Sochako Henshin figures are just a little bit bigger in general, but it, you know, they'll scale well together. They look good together. Come on, drop down. There we go. So, uh, Machine Sigler. I recommend it. It should be easy and cheap to find on Mandarake or even on eBay possibly, but Mandarake and HLJ, those are Amiyami, those are better places to get common rider stuff. I don't know why this keeps popping out so easily. Um, Masigler, I recommend. And it's way too bright. There we go.